Hi you guys, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. My name is Melanie and this is another organization video as I'm working through my stash. What you see in front of you are all the leftover bits from my Pink Fresh collections and it's huge you guys. <laughs> so these are all the embellishments that I have that used to be locked up in collections and my plan is to get them into a more readily accessible storage solution so that I can use them not necessarily just for Pink Fresh but for any scrapbooking that I'm doing. Typically what I've been doing in the past is any ephemeras going in a die cut sticker binder, any stickers and stuff that I don't want to keep on a sheet I've also been going in there. Um, any wood buttons, any of those brads, any of those things all end up in the die cut sticker binder where possible. Now I have a ton of stuff in here. I don't think it's feasible necessarily for me to put these all in die cut sticker binders. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull everything out and sort by type and by size. So let me do that first and then we'll talk about what my next steps are going to be. It always amazes me when you start putting like things together how much better it automatically starts looking like. So I have a bunch of enamel dots. I am not going to leave these designated as pink fresh enamel stuff. So these are going to go with my other enamel dots. I have a ton of alpha stickers. These are going to go in with my regular alpha sticker <laughs> storage, which <laughs> admit is now overflowing. So that's going to be another video for another day. It's amazing when you have stuff tucked away in collections, you don't even realize how much you have until you start pulling it apart. I also have some small alphas and I am going to purge these ones and these ones are going to go with my smaller alpha stickers. I also had some post-it notes tucked away which I will use. I just went and bought a bunch of post-it notes if I had known that these were available. So these I'm just going to stick next to my desk here and I use it for writing notes to myself like if I have ideas for specific cardstock, that kind of thing, and add it on so that, you know, when I get around to doing that, I know what I was intending to do. Um, I had one of these washi strips. This is actually from a hip kit club that made its way into one of these collections because um, it had a similar color scheme. It probably was because I had pink fresh and in a hip kit club. But anyways, I'm going to purge these as well. So in this bin, I've got mostly ephemera, maybe some pockets and tags, that kind of thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. Probably put them with my other pockets and tags. I have some bows, which I have a bin full of bows. I have a bin for flares. So that's where that's going to go. And washi tape will go with my washi. I have these wood accent stickers and I have um, one from just a little lovely and I've got three from office hours. I'm going to keep one and I'm saying I'm going to purge two. I'm not sure if this is going to go in my full purge or if this is just going to go in my giveaway box. Which you're probably wondering is what's the difference because I'm giving away my purge stuff. But more like um, as an incentive or something like that as opposed to just a purge box. Does that make sense? I hope so. I also have two of these gold foil word icon stickers. I think they're intended to be for planners. Um, talks about goals and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna, again, purge the one that's complete, keep the one that's partially used. Uh, same deal as with the last time. I have some chipboard heart stickers and I've got these wood veneer foiled wood clips, they're called. Um, I'm actually going to purge both of these because I struggle using clips. Usually I end up taking them apart and it's kind of hard with these so I'm purging both of those. I have two of the Simple and Sweet epoxy badges. These actually still look good. Sometimes epoxy stickers discolor but these are still looking good so I'm going to hold on to these. I have some of these mixed embellishment packs. I've got from Officeworks I have two and Noteworthy I have one and from just a little lovely I have three um, I think I'm gonna keep all of these because I like them I don't know yet if I'm gonna break these apart I suspect I probably will and will remove the enamel dots to put with my enamel dot storage and then all of the rest of these will probably end up in a die cut sticker binder I'm thinking 
Speaking of the die cut sticker binder, I didn't talk about these. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put those in a binder or not. I also have some cardstock stickers, but they're actually thicker. They're in between a, I guess they would say they were a thin, thin chipboard. Um, I have two of these in this size. And then we get to puffy stickers and other embellishments. So let me sort through these quickly. So I have a whole stack of the puffies. I do have some duplicates, but I really like these. So I think I'm going to hold on to all of them. Um, now there are a couple packages in here that are partially used up. Like I tucked this in the back. I would probably transfer those normally to what the sticker binder, but because I have the full set, I'm not too sure about that. And then I also have these puffies. They're a little bit bigger, but not by much. So I'm going to consider them the same size. They're at least the same width. I also have these puffy stickers in um, a bigger size. And I don't know if I... If, these ones look a little bit weird. I don't know if you can tell. Like they, It's almost like they got melted. So I'm going to get rid of these. And I am going to hold on to these ones. Also in roughly this size, I have these phrase stickers and I've got, I stapled them together because I had um, enough leftovers. I probably would transfer this to a die cut sticker binder. And then I also have these puffies and these ones are starting to do that same thing where they almost look melted, but not as bad as that other one. So I will hold on to those. And then I have these phrase stickers which I think I'm going to stick with my, my word sticker section. And then I have one of these full and a bit of these um, painted wood veneer. And I'm actually going to purge these. I used these quite a bit in one of my uh, books already. And while they were fun, they're not my favorite. And then we have the 6x12. So let me sort through these as well. So I have a bunch of flat stickers. Most of these are still full sheets, but I do have some that are partials. Again, the partials I'm gonna move to a die cut sticker binder. The rest I'm probably gonna stay, leave as is. I will take them out of the packaging though because I don't like to deal with that. I have some chipboard pieces. These are frames. I've got two of those. Um, this is from a case of the Blas. Also chipboard frames, I'll keep those simple and sweet and then I have from office works I have three sets of these and I'm only going to keep one so I will get rid of two that's a chipboard and then the third category I have are like um, words and phrases and like larger puffies so what am I going to do with these I mentioned quite that quite a few of these I will put in die cut sticker binders, which is true. Um, but I'm also going to keep a bunch of these as is. I have a new box. I'm going to show it to you here in a minute. Um, whether or not this is the final resting place for them, I don't know. But for this stage of my organization, it's, I think, where they're going to go. Well, this is what happens when you buy something on the spur of the moment and you don't watch carefully. So scrapbook.com has a line of tools. I've showed these before and I bought this bin thinking I could use this with these, but it's not six inches wide. What I thought I was buying, let me show you. So what I thought I was buying was this one, which does hold six by 12. So that's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, obviously, I have gone through this before, and this I had said at that point, this is not the final spot for this. Um, clearly, I may need to deal with this sooner rather than later just to get this stuff in. So I might do that. You'll see how there's smaller items in here. They're, they're 6 inches wide, but not 12 inches tall, and I might just pull these out and add the 6 by 12s in here and then see where we're at. So I made it work for now. Here is that same container. It's actually got a little bit of room left in it. I intermixed the pink fresh with my regular stash. So in the back of here, I've got like all words or titles. So that's that first section. I've got to put dividers in here. 
Um, and then we've got what I call border stickers. These may or may not stay in here because I also have paper borders and I'm thinking maybe I need to do something with those. Then we get into chipboard. So that's the next section. And then large puffies and then flat stickers are all of these. And then we get into foam. And then the last little bit are the smaller puppies and then a few odds and ends. So how did I make this work? I pulled all of these out because they belong under different themes like um, seasonal or travel or they belong to Paige Evans Maggie Holmes. So these are going to go um, where I have stored other items for this. So in bins. And I haven't gone through Paige Evans or Maggie Holmes ephemera yet, so that's just going to go in those bags until I figure out what I'm going to do with that. All of these are just going to go in the die cut sticker binder with ephemera, and the same is for all of these items. So not all of these are pink fresh, some of them are other items from in this bin, but I think they will be better served in a die cut sticker binder. So I got a lot of work getting this stuff all in binders. So how am I going to do this? So anything with pink fresh, I want to keep as pink fresh, but I'm going to um, color code it. And that way, if I ever want to break out the pink fresh stuff and put it in my regular color sections, I can. I've got flexibility. So that's what I'm going to do with the majority of those. It's going to take me a while, but for you guys, it will just be a matter of seconds. Okay, guys, it's done. I can't believe it. It took a while. <laughs> and this isn't going to fit in just one one inch binder. This is going to need like probably at least two. And I'm still thinking that I want to put it in with my regular color binders just kind of as another section. Um, so I thought I'd just show you how this all turned out. Uh, I did sort it by color. So we start off with the pinks. I love this, you guys. It's just, this is the system for me. Um, so reds, and then we move into like orange and corals. I kind of flip-flop between whether a coral is pink or red or orange. It doesn't really matter in the long run. I just, you know, want it to be in so that I can see them. Things like this where I had similar floral styles, but like I had mostly coral and only a couple pink, I just kept those together just so that if I want to have them all, I don't have to remember that I have a pink in another section. We got some yellow. This particular uh, floral pack from Perfect Day, I kept all together again and I'm going to put it in the yellow section. I could probably put it in orange, um, but I, I like it in the yellow, mostly because of the lemons. <laughs> so that will be in the yellow section. Um, then I've got the green, uh, what I call turquoise, teal, whatever, and then blues. And again, sometimes I've got turquoise in here. I don't worry about it, right? <laughs> The whole point is just so that I can come across it easily. And then we've got purple. Actually, quite a bit of purple. And then black and gray. And a little bit of brown. And a little bit of gold. So let me pull one of my regular color binders so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is my red binder. And I have all sorts of red bits in here and all I'm thinking of doing is just adding the red section at the end. Eventually it'll probably just get merged in with everything else. I don't think I need to keep this specifically as pink fresh. Um, I don't think that that is that important to me but for now it is separated so that if I do use any of those collections or paper, um, I can come to the different sections pretty easily. I may tag this as pink fresh. I don't know. Like I said, I'm still trying to think about whether or not um, that's important to me, but that is basically all I will do for each of the different colors. And so no separate binder at this point. At least that's the plan. 
I had a few items that were left over. Um, they were larger pockets and stuff like that. So I do have um, a bin that I keep pockets and, and larger tags in. That's where that's going to go. I also cut apart those cut aparts. And so I've got all these little bits here. Um, I don't know that I necessarily want to throw these in these binders. It seems like a lot. Um, and I would probably use these more for journaling than anything else. And I do have a bin that I kind of keep random journal cards and stuff in there. So I think that's where that's going to go. And then the last thing I want to show you is what I did with the acetate ephemera. So I have these um, postage stamp sheets. You can get different types of pockets. I have, I think this is this one here. Um, which has a one and one eighth pocket and they're in black which you know I would rather have white but it is what it is so what I did because acetate is clear um, on black you wouldn't see very much is I just added one inch strips of cardstock and this is actually from the packaging from the pink fresh ephemera I just trimmed it down and tucked it in there just so I could get some idea as to what the acetate sheets feel like and they're basically just tucked in there and I'm just going to stick this in my purple section and call this one done. So I am so pleased to have finished going through all my pink fresh. Obviously I still got a few more things to go through yet but I'm starting to feel like the end is maybe just around the corner. Let me know below how your journey is coming along. What are you struggling with? Or maybe you've made some real progress that you're proud of. Let me know. I'd love to encourage you. And until next time, happy organizing.